Hey guys, Zalni here and welcome back to Killing Floor 2. And today we are going to be playing on on Okay, so here's the thing. Um I'm going not I'm not going to be playing holdout maps like Biolabs and uh, the Descent or something. Is it the Descent or Descent? There's like, you know, those maps where you um Every wave it's a random area and it's like a cramped area where you can barely navigate. Like there's nothing, just a it's a room with a bunch of things waste for the zest to pour in. I really hate those types of maps. I think they were kind of a mistake, honestly. Um you might like them, if you like them it's fine. But personally I don't like them. So we're gonna be skipping these maps. Um because uh yeah, they might be a pain in the ass if we get something like demo or uh you know, something a class that's not very good at uh, dealing with uh, stuff just being pouring in from everywhere. So, we're going to be going biotic slabs. Um, all right, let's check the perk that we get, which is, which is, we'll see. All right, so we played sharpshooter last time. Let's remove that and see what we get. So we are getting berserker. Berserkers uh, should not be a problem. He has a lot of weapons in this mode. I mean, in this mode, in this game as well. So, let's go. And here we are in Biotic Slabs. Okay, so. Uh, Berserker, we're, normally I go the Dreadnought, because it's just way better. Uh, but it's better in multiplayer when you have someone that can top you off. We're going to go Skirmisher, because um, of the mobility. The uh, regen is also... Kind of there, I guess. Not a big deal. Like one minute in one minute, you regen sixty health. It's not much, really. It's more because of the mobility. Uh, we're taking extra damage instead of uh, life leech because I feel like this sometimes doesn't work when you kill a lot of stuff really fast. Uh, it's consistent or something. Uh, so damage is guaranteed to be good. Parry, of course. I mean, there's no reason to not go parry unless uh, no, even on the boss. Like I don't think there's a reason for to go resistance. And uh, we're going smash. So our heavy attacks are, be are stronger, and I have more stumble power instead of the light attacks being uh, faster. All right, uh, we're good. Let's go. Now, as a berserker, I expect this one to go smoothly. You are here to clean out Zeds. And here come your I targets. did give um, Biolabs a try, you know, the holdout style map that I said I wasn't gonna play. And honestly, uh, I don't know why I even tried, because um, it's exactly what I was uh, thinking I was going to be experiencing. I'm not a fan of uh, that type of... Uh, I don't even think you can call it a game mode, right? It's just basically as if they said... Uh, okay, uh, we don't want to bother like with designing a map and like... We're just gonna throw up a bunch of fucking, you know, areas and make you teleport. It's it's like you just teleport. You just jump down a shaft or something, and you teleport between areas. Like, it's it's the transition is not even smooth. Honestly, all those holdout style maps, they feel like crap. I never liked them, and I'm not gonna play them because they're not fun. I only play if they're fun. <laughs> That's what the game is for, right? You gotta have fun when you play. If it's just gonna be frustrating to play, it's not worth uh, tolerating it. Get out of here. It's gonna bash their face. Bonk. There we go. First wave's done. Cool. Just go for the trader. Really fast. Hmm. Okay, so. What can we go now? Oh, oh, let's try the fire axe. Why not? We just came out of killing floor one. We gotta use the axe. I think you can... Uh, the axe was not in the game when I played most of my killing floor two time. I think you can probably still stun Scrakes with a heavy attack, right? On the head. Let's skip the trader time. We don't need to wait for that. Alright, uh, alrighty, alrighty. Also, the Berserker, you have Night Vision, which is completely useless. I don't know why Berserker has it. But uh, SWAT does not. SWAT should have it, not Berserker. 
You know, he fits the theme of SWAT, like Special Forces. Okay, the axe is a bit slow, but kind of hits hard. And it's a, it's a sharp weapon. So it also does some nice damage. Let's keep moving. Use our mobility. Okay, that's a freaking fire boy. I do not want to be around a husk because they can just flamethrower you. And you'll be gone in an instant. Taran is being a bit annoying. Oh yeah, the, ha the axe, heavy attack is very slow. Gotta wind it up. Hmm. I was thinking of going for the husk, but honestly, just a lot of stuff coming from behind as well. Let's play it safe a bit here. Gonna try to make it a run without dying. I listen to the boss. The boss is always like, you never know. Matriarch itself or self like is not the problem. It's more the Edars. Edars were a mistake. Oh my! I think the crawlers. Yeah, it pissed at the guy. Now the husk is cooking the crawler. <laughs> nice. Oh, now the blood spits at him as well. There we go. Blew his backpack. What? A crawler is like drunk or something. Take out the bloats. Wow, the axe is super slow. So we got the trader right here. Let's finish this guy off. I like how his head was like stunned. That was so weird. Alright. So, buy some armor, sure. Uh, hmm. Let's just upgrade the axe. I want to go for the pulverizer on the way for. We might get a flash pound or two. Or quarter pounds. But. I really want to give it the axe a try on the Scrake. At least we'll test it out, you know. Because this thing is... It's very slow on the wind-up. Which means it's probably really strong, right? Hopefully. Hmm. Oh, hello. It has a... It's, it's funny, because it's a sharp weapon with insane stumble power. This one's behind me. As you can see, the regen is not really... Holy bot... Hell. Really need to get rid of these bots. All right, there we go. Hey, look at that! Light attack stumbles the guys. Wow, the axe is something else. So it's like a really strong, sharp weapon with a uh, high CC. Uh, the weak part is that it's extremely slow. All right. Not my type of weapon, but uh, I can see it being really strong. Oh, I missed the. Uh, hmm. So I try to cleave through this. I really want to get the, the siren that was back there. Oh, um, that's bad. 
That was very, very, very bad. I didn't expect a bunch of... Oh, that's a big flash bound. Uh, you know... Thinking about it... Let's uh, weld them in. For a bit, just so I can get another heal. Flash is gonna blast through them. Oh, true, a few of them, I guess. Alright, come at me. Oh, he is coming, though. Right, cool. It was this parry again? Because what best way of uh, reducing the damage you take from a freaking monstrosity that was like probably meant to take out tanks than uh, just put your like flimsy axe on, you know, on the way. Oh, that's a lot of bloats. Does not have much range either. Whoa, whoa, what was this damage? That's a cool thing about the um, Dreadnought. You don't get these type of surprises. You have so much health. Right. We're gonna sell the axe next way, though. It's fun. It's kind of strong, too, but it's a bit too slow for my likings. Oh. I kind of miss his head. Well, whatever is that. But yeah, I think you can... Uh, Done the scrape with the, with an headshot, but he w moves a, a lot, you know. I saw how you tore that scrape up. Gave me hen flesh. Come on. Ah, uh, vous savez. In Killing Floor One, they don't move their heads around. They're, they don't. They're like more stiff. The movements are more stiff. Let's go for pulverizer. I love this gun. I mean, weapon, melee weapon, whatever. This thing's really my. It's, it's my type of melee weapon, you know. It explodes. So. Anything with explosives is cool for me. Time's up. Go Plus, flash pounds become an easier thing to take out. I'm really not a fan of night vision on the... The resolution kind of decreases with the range as well. So it's hard to see. But I don't think it makes much sense on the... You know, on Berserker, like, why? Give it to a military class. Night vision goggles. Makes sense on those guys. Get out of here. I kind of want to deplete my pulverizer. Okay, never mind. No, I don't. There you go. One. Oh. oh there you go. Two, two hits with that. That's pretty good. Oh, I go this way. Husks are starting to... Oh, Flash Pound, alright. Time to pound his ass. Okay. Flash pound. Oh, I could have brought parry of that. Don't want the bot to follow me. And now he's gonna rage, but he's dead. Get out of the way. Before the other has crossed me. Probably got a cloak Z here. Like that. I really don't want to get close to... Oh, the husk's probably going to piss off a lot of guys. He burned them. I normally like to, to have my pulverizer without ammo until I find a flesh bound. It's easier to take off scrakes, you know, out scrakes with... Uh, and other things, because you can use a heavy attack at will. You know, just... And without wasting ammo. I think really wants to use a flamethrower attack. Let's get out of here. Freaking crawler! There we go. Get out of here. Let's go check other side of the map. Oh my god! Oh. Flash pounds. They see me, I'm um, like 5 health. They decide to spawn flash pounds, alright. Ah, it's quarter pounds. Alright. 
Not a big deal now. We recovered. So... Oh, we can actually one-shot with the parry buff. Get extra damage from parrying. There we go. Cool. Now, where's the last guys? There it is. Alright, see? Now I got no ammo. And I missed my head. Hits on this guy. Whatever, he's dead. Took a lot of damage. Alright, we've got a Patriarch. I mean, the, not the Patriarch. The, the boss wave coming up. <clears throat> I'm going to try the ranged weapons. The ranged weapons should be a good choice for uh, the boss, right? I don't know about the... Yeah, let's try the Eviscerator. Is that, there are, I think there are some pistols, right? Like, Ah, this one's. And I cannot even upgrade them because... Uh, it's the right amount of weight. Alright, let's just skip and go. See what boss we get. Let's see. Why is it always the fat guy? I mean, it doesn't bother me much. Because I'm playing Zerker, but... Where is he? It's like here. Yeah, he is. We should do extra headshot damage with this. Because uh, we have a smash, like level 20. You know. Oh, I tried to parry that. Keeps farting those guys out. Let's uh, reload our eviscerator. The reload? Uh, I mean the reload. The, um, extra, the tiny health regen actually helps a lot against this boss. Because uh, he deals damage like in tiny amounts as well. It kind of negates it. Most of it anyway. Look at this. Oh. I think I'm mistiming it. I expected him to bite me faster than he actually does. Also, I think we're gonna have a problem real soon. Because, uh, they're gonna start coming from everywhere. Probably. Let's see. Ooh, the ricochets from the off the wall. We're really good there. Oh, whoops, open the chat. Let's try and kill him with the melee attack. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Let's just get his head off. There we go. Why am I always getting this guy? I mean, I did get other bosses. On, uh, I got a matriarch. I almost killed her, but. I haven't gotten a Patriarch, Hans, or, uh, you know, the other guys, yet. Alright, that was the uh, Biotic Slabs uh, from Killing Floor 2. It's uh, an alright map, it's small and uh, easy to go around. Um, it's very simple, it has like this high-tech look. Um, it's like uh, one of the basics. You can uh, hop in and uh, have a quick game. Alright, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.